Hello and welcome back. Uh, we are just about to fight a really big uh, boss. It's good to be prepared for anything. Whoops. Hello there, ogre. Nice horns. And teeth. Oops. Okay. Uh, ooh, I can't remember the tactics for this one, but I guess uh, if you move out of the way there, and you move out of the way there, and I'll move out of the way here, and Alistair. I don't know, what are we gonna do you... Um, I don't think... I don't think you're gonna stun him, but... Uh, <laughs> whatever. Okay. Ready. Who is he going after? Can I... Oh, can I paralyze him? Got it. Oh, my good. Amazing. Kill. Right, all right. Uh, okay. Try, come on! So now he's going to charge. Alistair, I guess. Can you move out of the way? No, you can't. Ah, never mind. <laughs> they don't know what hit them. No, they don't know what hit them. Shut up! Oh, Alistair, you can do I'm this. <laughs> nice. I think Alistair's really good. Secondary weapons? No, you didn't. What are you doing? Aren't you using? No, it's because I s s switched them around. But you do. You have a. Um, you should be. You should have been using this all along. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna place you there. And you can. Because, you know. Is it time to kill something? Let's see what you're made of! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> level up by the way <laughs> so Ferelden army soldier got the honor okay the beacon is over here we've surely missed the signal let's light it quickly before it's too late all right save uh, codex so Howard's Aegis. Howard was Mafra's clo closest friend. They were children together in the same Avar clan. Uh, they fought side by side in so many battles that Mafra dubbed him Havard of the Aegis. Better to have at his side than any shield. Better to have at his side than any shield. Mafra brought uh, Havard with him, or Havard, maybe it's pronounced 
Hayward with him to meet with the Tevintas. It was unthinkable to stand before his enemies without his Aegis. When he understood that Mafarath was giving Andraste over to be executed, Hayward, unwilling to draw swords against his friends and liege, placed himself between Andraste and the Tewinta soldiers. The Tewinta struck him down and Mafarath left him for dead. But Aegis was not so easily destroyed. Hayward lived and made his way, gravely wounded, to the gates of Min Minrathos to stop the execution. Too late, he found only the ashes of the prophet, left to the wind and rain. When his fingers touched the ash, his ears filled with song, and he saw a vision of Andraste dressed in cloth of starlight. Um, she knelt at his side, saying, Rise, Aegis, of the faith. The Maker shall never forget you so long as I remember. His wounds healed instantly, and with new strength, Hayward gathered up Andraste's remains and carried them safely back to the lands of the Alamari. Okay, so uh, Andraste's ashes uh, heals. Interesting. So, is there anything else here we should. Uh, oh. Nothing here we should. No? Okay. So, beacon. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not. Do as I command. Let's move! Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Uh, I remember you, uh, the girl from the wilds. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten. And we are in the wilds, where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? 
Do you remember Mother's rescue? Um, uh, I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Um, what's happened to the Grey Wardens and the King? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Oh, um, yeah, so thank you for helping me, Morrigan. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Uh, were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. Do I, do I want to talk to her or no? I, I'm, I'm, I, I feel quite urgently that I want to go out and talk to Alistair. He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very unkind. Those were his friends. Um, I will go then. I'm just going to ignore her. I will stay and make something to eat. <laughs> Okay, so first uh, I can level up, uh, so I'm going to put um, two in magic and one in willpower. And I'm going to put uh, one point in expert coercion. And, oh by the way, so for the next one I need to have 16 cunnings. That's the uh, cunning level I'm going to end up on. Uh, right, so I have one point of uh, spells and uh, I need 34 magic for this. So I'm, I'm feeling a little bit spread out. I don't want to beca become um, a healer really. Um, but I do want Crushing Prison and um, so <laughs> yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go with telekinetic weapons even if I'm not gonna use it. I can as long as I feel that I uh, as long as I feel like I have uh, mana enough. Alright. So, chest and chest. Shall I, shall I look in the chest? You know, it's they saved me and everything. So I feel I feel a little bit bad, but... Alright, alright. <laughs> I just stolen money from them. <laughs> it's a bit... Uh, untidy here and um, I mean what's I wonder what this fur is here and if we look here is that garlic hanging garlic and pepper I guess and what's this some kind of flower or herb that's drying uh, I'd love to read what's on the note here or you know to look what's what books are these and so they have is that no it's a nug it's a nug or a pig pig nug and this is I don't know an altar of sorts so who would they be praying to yeah oh and more flowers up here and a stash of wood it's cozy does Morgan sleep here together with her mother I don't know, maybe there's no loft. 
Can I talk to her again? You must speak to Mother, then be gone. You have an army of Darkspawn to avoid, and it would be best to get an early start. Uh, I will go. I will stay and make something to eat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. It's good to be prepared for anything. Yes. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You. You're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, um... Um, not thanks to Morrigan's mother. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Uh, yeah. If you're Flemeth, you must be very old and powerful. <laughs> Uh, I suppose we should thank you. If you know what is good for you, I suppose you should. <laughs> yeah, but nobody knows that she's this big dragon. Actually, is she dragon? Is she an old god? What is she? She's not even really human. Uh, yeah, so is there any way we can repay you? Um, or I'm, I'm going to go down the road, you know. Uh, if you're Flemeth, you must be very old and powerful. No, I'm gonna ask, why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Um... Well, uh... <laughs> the land is hardly united thanks to Logan. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Right, so... Um... Yeah... We should contact the rest of the Grey Wardens. Kaelin already summoned them. They'll come if they can, but... I expect Loghain has already taken steps to stop them. We must assume they won't arrive in time. So... What could the Tairn hope to... by betraying the King? The throne? He's the Queen's father. Still... I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Um, perhaps we could go to him then. You think the Arl would believe us over the turn? I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Okay. Uh, keep in mind that Logan was also an honorable man. The Arl would never do what Tan Logan did. I know him too well. I still don't know if Arl Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. Okay, so we need the rest of the Grey Wardens. I don't know how to contact them, or, or if they're even on their way. We need to do something now. You have more at your disposal than you think. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old. 
but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Um, as long as there is some profit in it, no. Uh, wow, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I doubt it will be as easy as that. So, but no, I'm I'm just gonna go like, why not? Isn't that what a gray, what gray wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be gray wardens. <laughs> She's mothering us. <laughs> I you know we really walked into her trap. It's not really that kind of trap. I don't know. We'll see <laughs> Dragon Age Inquisition, but she's setting us up. And, uh, you know, this is the reason why she helped us. And I, I'm so hoping we're going to get the answers to that in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, so, um, <laughs> we're going, old woman. Don't push us. I really want to say that. But I need to ask her for any more help. Now that you mention it, I do have one more thing to offer. Ooh. The stew is bubbling, mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible mother. Yeah, so, uh, thank you, but if Morrigan doesn't want to join Her us. magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, so was this your idea all along? Pardon me. But I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Actually, sh that's Not true. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. <laughs> Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... Wow. understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Um, yeah, I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Um... Actually, I have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. Um, how are we going to get past the Darkspawn? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. I don't sense any Darkspawn. You won't right away. No. It takes time. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent dark spawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. Okay. So, um... Um... What skills do you have exactly? I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. 
<laughs> Excellent. He'll at least be your submarines. No. Uh, then you can substitute for Alistair. Right. My cooking will kill us. That's all I meant. I also know at least 15 different poisons that grow right here <laughs> okay, in this marsh. Okay, point taken. <laughs> Not that I would suggest it is at all related to cooking. <laughs> right, so I'm not going to ask her any personal questions just yet. So, I have no more questions. Farewell, mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned down hut. <laughs> It is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... all I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Oh, so cute. All right. So, um... A little save. Uh, I did not confront Flemeth about being Flemeth because, you know, I actually don't know why I didn't do that, but yeah. Uh, and Alistair, so you already have amazing constitution, so I'm going to go into strength for now. And I'm going to give you master combat training. And, ooh, level 9, come soon. Um, so, I'm going to go down here to Weapons Shield. And, Overpower, the character lashes out with his shield three times. First two hits, oh, there's, uh, I think there's a bug in this. Um, I can't really remember it, but it's, it's something about... Uh, if it's critical or not, or uh, shield master increases. So, overpower. Yeah. And then we're going to go down uh, to get shield wall also and shield expertise later. Okay, <coughs> so Morrigan. Uh, Morrigan has mind blast. Morrigan. Again, has oh, let's put all these spells over here. And since I'm an arachnophobe, I won't ever use spider shape. Bye bye. Uh, that's that's just the way things are going to be. That's how it works with me. So uh, this is how I want it in this order. Horror. And drain life is really good. And disorient activation 20. Horror. Vulnerability hex. Wait, I need to think now. Do I want this? Um, yes, this is what I want in this order. Okay. Uh, right, so tactics, Morrigan, uh, self health, drain life, self surrounded by at least two enemies, mind blast, self being attacked by a melee attack, horror, enemy health, uh, minus 50, winter's grasp. Yeah, this is not going to do. I want her to be a damager, so um, self being attacked by melee attack, mind blast, self health, drain life. So yeah, this this is the important order um, because if she's being attacked, uh, she's not going to be able to drain life quickly enough if she's interrupted. So first stun, then drain. And then just, you know, damage. Great. And yeah, so here we go. 
wonder if I can talk to Flemeth some more. I've never tried that, so I'm, I'm going to try. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. Um, you know, I'm going to confront her about being Flemeth. Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. <sighs> Can I ask about your magic? Looking for new spells. Secrets you think old Flemeth has cooked up over the years. Well, they're of no use to you without years of practicing my ways. I am not like your circle with its books, you see. Not that I would mind a handsome lad to order around for a year or so. <laughs> <laughs> if I were you, I'd take the dark spawn. <laughs> okay. So, um, how long have you lived in the wilds? Since before I was wrinkled and old. Oh, you may think it's strange, but I was once young and beautiful, just as Morrigan is now. Yes, men desired Flemeth then, and some even killed for her. Hmm. So, <laughs> are you sure they didn't just die from horror? You don't seem happy about that. I am not, nor was I then. It dictated all that followed. But enough. You have your task to complete. Um, so, what will you do once we are gone? Huh. Have a moment's peace for once. I hear the peace of the grave is eternal. This is the thanks I get for feeding you and putting up with you for this long. Bah! May your child one day treat you the same. Feed me, she says. Without me, I swear, she shall be caked in dirt and eating tree bark inside of a month. Oh, they do love each other. So do you have any advice? About the dark spawn? Um, about anything, really. Then hear this. I laugh at a world full of stupid humans who ignore the Blight's evil and abandon their vigilance to chase mortal goals. Remember... It is up to you to destroy the Blight. Pray not for someone else to destroy it. It will always nip at your heels. I have no more questions. Then we are done. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. Okay, goodbye. So that was fun. I've never done that before. Can't even remember that conversation with her. Um, yep. Yeah. Can I talk to Morgan? The time has come to leave the wilds. Do you not agree? Yes. What do you need? Um, yeah. Do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Um, yeah, so... Doesn't mean... He was like a father to you, I, I understand. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Um, he had you. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him. In the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. Um, yeah, well... He saved your life by sending you to the yes. tower. I know. I think he came from High Ever. Or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Well... No, not really. Not since I went to the tower. Actually, you know, I lost enough to know what you're going through. Yes, I imagine you really have. Haven't you? Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Um. 
Yeah, well, he was a friend of mine too. He helped me get out of the tower when I was in trouble. Um, but you know, maybe I'll go to Hayeva with you when you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Okay. Um, I'm really sorry I did that. I should have done that conversation in camp. So let's just go. So save and go. And actually, no. You know what? Uh, we'll do the the next cutscene next time. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to stop recording here today. I'm, I'm going to first put out the sound effects. No, the sound effects are good. Uh, the music volume again, so it doesn't. Fifty percent is good. Okay. And I'm going to save and thank you so much for watching and come back next time we're going to go into Lothering and Lothering and then we're going to pick up Leliana and Stan. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.